All artwork created in this video is copyright Leilani Joy. Artwork may not be reproduced without the written consent of the artist. All rights reserved. Hey there, New Voguers, and welcome back to another episode of Art New Vogue with your host, Leilani Joy. This is my video art blog where I document my creative process and give you guys some tips and tricks along the way. Thank you for joining me on today's episode. I have a really fun new piece to work on for you guys. This time I'm doing yet another piece with the Bad Apple Artist Collective and I actually got to choose the theme this month which was really exciting and I really had a hard time deciding because I know we've already done some really great themes and I tried to think of something that would be really fun and interesting for everybody to work on. So I came up with Grimm's Fairy Tales and I thought that really opened the door for a lot of new ideas and interesting concepts and I chose to do my piece on Rapunzel because I really love that story and I used to have this little um, video, this little VHS tape way back in the day that I used to watch over and over again, which of course it was like the G-rated version. You know, Grimm's fairy tales are actually really dark. If you're into a little bit of, uh, you know, dark um, fantasy stuff, I recommend reading the old ones because some of these I'm like, I, I don't remember that happening in the Disney version. It's kind of creepy, but I recommend uh, checking those out. And anyway, before I get started, I wanted to show you guys something super inspirational that kind of got me excited to work on this piece. And um, my boyfriend has a lot of art of books because he's a concept artist. And I shamefully have actually never even seen Tangled yet. And now that I've seen the art book, I really, really want to see it. Um, but this is the art of Tangled, of Disney's Tangled. And this book is so incredible. And it's really, really inspiring. And it has of a bunch of concept um, design and illustrations and just really quick studies of um, character design and some more elaborate um, paintings and um, there's even some of the scenery and really just great gestural like really quick drawings and designs and um, really good examples of facial features and um, it's really a really beautiful book. I recommend checking it out, and I'm going to go watch Tangled after seeing this book. I know I heard it was really good, so I'm ashamed that I haven't seen it. But I just I just love all the emotion they get in some of these sketches, and um, you know I I have a lot of um, animation influence in my work, so this was uh, a really inspiring book. And I looked at it for hours, and then I'm like, I guess I should actually draw something. Anyway, so I used this for inspiration and I also did some of my own research and of course I want to sort of put my own spin on this um, Rapunzel piece that I'm doing and give it a little bit of a, a darker, almost gothic sort of um, theme to it. So with that said, I'm not going to ramble on anymore. We'll go ahead and start painting. I, I've noticed a lot of comments lately. I've been getting like, shut up, shut up. You talk too much. Show the art, show the art. And I'm like, you know what? It's my video blog. So if I want to talk on it, you're going to listen. And I was just kidding. I don't care. Skip me if you want. I really don't mind. Um, but I, I did want to add something that I just thought was really funny and ironic. Um, I, I was a very quiet, um, shy child and teenager growing up. And everyone was like, Leilani never talks. I never heard her say anything. And all my teachers would always write me these, um, you know, progress reports that Leilani's such a quiet, good student. And I just find it ironic now that I do uh, an art blog where I talk and people are like, you talk too much, you talk too much. And I'm just like, you know what? You people are never happy. So I don't know what to tell you. But with that said, there are also a lot of great, um, completely talk-free art demos out there if you don't like talking. Don't watch my show because, you know, that's what I'm here to do. Start a conversation with you guys. Anyway, enough um, griping. Let's do some painting and drawing, and I've got some new tricks I want to share with you guys today that will be very helpful on your journey. All right, see you guys soon. So when starting this piece, I was thinking a lot about fairy tales and that kind of inspiration, and I really wanted to do this sort of subtle nod to Sleeping Beauty, which is my favorite um, Disney animated film. I think it's just one of the most beautifully designed films they've ever done. And I kind of want to incorporate a little bit of that awesome gown design into my piece for this one. And the other concept I want to sort of um, add to this is this idea of birds, because I feel like birds are a really good symbol of freedom and flying, and Rapunzel's this prisoner that's kept in this tower that she can't escape from. And also, I mean, this is kind of weird, but the, the version of Rapunzel I saw when I was a child um, told that the prince was turned into a bird instead of 
falling into the briars and being blinded, as in Grimm's version. So I wanted to sort of do this nod to birds in this piece as well. So as I start to sketch here, I want to share with you guys something I like to call the three-step drawing method, which I actually uh, picked up from famous and incredibly talented concept artist Ian McCaig when I saw him speak live at Spectrum last year. Um, anyway, I love this process and I've started to apply it to my own work, so I thought I would share it with you guys. So step one is just draw. Just draw out your idea. Just let it flow. Don't worry about proper anatomy or using reference or anything like that. Just get the idea down on the paper and see what comes of it. So you can see this is really rough. It's not really correct, but I'm just trying to visualize. This is the part of the drawing where you just get your ideas from your head on paper and then you're going to worry about all the other stuff later. Next, we're going to move on to step two, in which you're going to do some research, find some photo reference, or as you can see, I'm going to be taking my own photo reference because I have sort of a pose in mind that I want to get correct. And I'm going to try a few different ideas and then settle on the one that I like best. It always feels kind of dorky taking these photos of myself, but I highly recommend taking your own photos whenever possible. It just keeps your pieces more original. Well, I'm original, that's for sure. Anyways, try that sometimes and you'll get a lot more of a unique piece in the end. And finally, step three, you'll do a third drawing that combines the concept of your first drawing and the study that you did in the second drawing. In this particular case, I did kind of skip step two. I just went straight from the photo reference and combined it with my concept. But I highly recommend doing the second step fully, especially if you have a very complicated pose. It really helps a lot. And then you can just throw away drawing number one and drawing number two, and people will see that you did a super awesome drawing on the third one, and they'll never know. So with my drawing finished, I'm going to transfer it to my piece of masonite board here using my Sorol transfer paper. And as usual, I'm going to place the drawing over my wood board and trace my drawing with the Sorol underneath. And you'll see that it will reveal my drawing on my board from which I can paint on top of. So my Rapunzel piece is almost finished now, and I guess it took a lot longer than I thought since my hair is a lot longer than it was earlier. You know, I don't really know how people, I love long hair, don't get me wrong. I, I really, I always wish that I had much longer hair. It was pretty long for a while before I cut it, wasn't it? But like, I never can understand how people with really long hair sleep, because like it always like gets like tight around my neck and like starts choking me and, oh, 
I, just, I look just like my painting. <laughs> it's weird. I didn't even do that. It was, I just, I don't know how they deal with it. I guess they sleep with it like in a braid or like in buns or something. Anyways, I'll have my pretend Rapunzel hair for today. I'm almost finished with my piece, but I want to show you guys a couple new things in the shop and new things that are available. Um, first thing is I have a brand new postcard set. I know you guys are just crazy for postcards, and I love postcards too. I wish I had some more pen pals. Maybe some of you guys can be my pen pals, and I'll send you postcards. Um, but these are my inkblot girls, and I have here um, um, a postcard of each of them. Flora, Fauna, Mina, and Peppermint, and also Black Sheep. So you can get a set of these in my Etsy shop. And also, you may have noticed this giant, awesome canvas back here of my Madam Butterfly piece. Um, this was a custom order for um, a client, so it's, it's going to be leaving me, sadly. But remember, I can do canvas reproductions of all my pieces, and I only release 10 of each piece. So um, you will get a um, sign numbered, embellished, and include a... Um, certificate of authenticity on the back of these and I do a ton of sizes so if you need some big artwork you know where to find me and also I have um, I just sold my very first one of the Alice Returns canvas Re someone's texting me be quiet I'm, I'm filming anyway I also just got my very first edition of the Alice Returns reproductions and um, one of ten is sold but I have nine more so hurry and grab one of these these are also available in bigger sizes this is the smallest size 12 by 16 which goes for 140 and um, I can also have these framed for you so go ahead and send my assistant an email at sales at leilanijoy.com or you can find some of these listed in my Etsy shop that you can purchase outright um, I should also add that I'm happy to accept multiple payments if you want to pay off one of these in like three months or five months or whatever you want. So I will make it happen for you. I will get you some art if you want it. And finally, I just want to remind you guys to continue to check out ArtNouveau.com for more tips, tricks, and everything Art Nouveau after the show. You'll find painting techniques, demos, tutorials, even information on copyrights and art business stuff too. You'll also find my Frequently Asked Questions page, and you can get there directly by going on to artnouveau.com slash 2013 slash 05 slash FAQs.html. You'll see all the questions I've answered so far, and I'm constantly updating it and adding new questions. So if you have a burning question for me and I haven't been able to get back to your email, um, check out my Frequently Asked Questions, and I might have the answer for you there. All right, guys, well, that's it for me. I know I said I was going to talk less, but I don't think I actually did. But I will show you my finished piece now. Um, the original is already sold. Sorry about that. Um, but I do have prints of Rapunzel already up in my Etsy shop, as well as some um, smaller prints and magnets and buttons and keychains. So if you love Rapunzel, you can get um, to take her home. So that's it, and see you guys real soon. Mm -hmm.